test. See if this works. Nice. <laughs> wow, that was like a scuff little wire job there, but we did it. <laughs> oh no. You're so low down. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> We have plant. Hooray. Big plant. My room is complete. <laughs> <laughs> what up dudes? How's it going everybody? I haven't really been vlogging lately because I've just been working in the house and editing. I'm still kind of backlogged on footage right now. Uh, I wanted to show you this while I'm walking. This trip graffiti. I see him everywhere. It's There's so much graffiti here in, in Spain, as there is in most European countries, but it's just everywhere. More so outside of the city than in the middle of the city. But it's making me want to kind of get into it. I haven't really done... I'm not, I'm not a fan of tagging so much. I'd rather draw stuff. Like you guys have seen me spray paint cars, but you've never really seen me spray paint walls. That's because I've never done it before. <laughs> so it's something I want to get into, but it's, it's like an expensive hobby. Something that I haven't allowed myself to enjoy yet. Basically, it's a really hot day today. There's no, there's no wind, so my audio should be good. I don't know what's wrong with my microphone, but it hasn't been working lately. It's not blocking out the wind the way it's supposed to. So yeah, I'm gonna go north this time. Usually I go south to the orange fields, but I'm on my own, so Thomas is inside painting today. So I'm gonna, gonna go north, see what I can find. It's a really smoggy day today. So it's sunny and blue sky, no clouds, but there's a layer of smog blocking all the mountains. And you can't really see that far, but it's beautiful and warm, so I'm gonna go, go get some mango, go for a wander, see what we can come up with today. This vlog's kind of a test just to see if my audio is completely screwed or if I need to buy a new mic. I want to get a, a um, lapel mic, I think they're called, radio mic, the microphone that kind of just sticks to you. I need to get one of those so the audio is like really nice and not affected by the wind. So yeah, this forest is nice. <laughs> this is like just near my house. Plenty of places to walk. I'm kind of explore, exploring my neighborhood and trying to find new areas where I can hang out and film. Because I, I require at least an hour outside a day. So I need to mix it up, otherwise I get bored. Get bored of the outside. So because I'm like backlogged on footage right now, you're not gonna see this for like another week probably. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll grind these videos out. But I have so much like crystal packaging to do. You're probably not gonna see this until next week. That's the, that's the thing. So today it's Thursday the 17th or 18th, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know what day it is anymore. It's so grounding in the desert. It's not easy but it slows me down, brings me back to the present moment. There's nothing I can really think about other than one step, two step, you know? It's kind of magical. Well, there's a quarry here. Who knows what they're quarrying? Big sand pit to me. I have so many friends. <laughs> you wouldn't ever think it by watching this channel because I never hang out with any of them. But I do have loads of friends. And it's all thanks to this channel. Or both my channels, YouTube, I guess. It's all thanks to YouTube. But is it is it the platform that I should be thanking or is it myself for putting in the work and pushing myself out there to attract the people that are in my life now? Thank you, me. I suppose I probably should thank this camera. This camera's really put in some work. This lens is the lens that I've had since 2013. So you notice how in this edge over here, there's like some spots. You can probably see if I point at the sun. There's some scratches, there's some spots. It's kind of dirty. There's nothing I can do. It's just the glass is damaged. And I don't want to replace this lens until it, it literally dies on me. It holds a lot of sentimental value because I've used it f in so many videos. What do I want to talk about today? So my roommate was saying that he enjoys my vlogs where I do stuff and then sit down and talk. He likes the sitting down and talking parts, which is what I like as well, but most of the time I'm moving around, I'm not sitting anywhere. But yeah, whenever a thought comes to mind, I like to stop somewhere and talk about it. <gasps> I think I just found a dump. No way. That is actually huge. 
there. All, I'm always scavenging things, especially wood, because I'm trying to build a shelving unit next week for the back of my room so I can put all my stuff off the ground. Wow, I found a dump. All right, let's go investigate. So it just looks like a, a rubble dump. So where, when a building gets destroyed, they usually will take the rubble and put it in a dump like that. Oftentimes you'll see buildings get demolished and then they just leave all the stuff on the ground. But if they're considerate for the environment <laughs> and the space and they want someone else to use it, then they'll put it in a place like this. So there's no wood in there basically. Nothing, nothing salvageable. It's just a big sand pit for men. Do you guys know what a tumbleweed is from like old western movies? Well, this is a tumbleweed. I don't know exactly what type of bush it is, but it just turns into this and turns into like a ball shape and just bounces around in the wind. <laughs> but yeah, here's a pile of them that have just gotten stuck here now. Tumbleweed, here's a big one. Wow. That's a massive tumbleweed. Look at that. Hmm. A lot more tiles and toilets. A lot of crap. Well, I've ended up at a factory, it seems like. So I guess that's, this is where I turn back. Let me show you this tree real quick. <laughs> wow. So this branch is clearly too old to hold its own weight. So they built this wall for it. I love this. Let's investigate why you're being held up. Ah, okay, it's split down the middle. So they have to hold it up. Yeah. Oh, very nice. So now that I've been in the house for two weeks, I feel a lot more stable. My skin is improving. My overall mood is improving. It doesn't take much. All I needed in life was some stability. That's all I've been seeking. And now I'm actually putting in the work and making it happen. So manifestation is something I've really been taking seriously lately. Like you write down what you want, write down the steps it takes to get there, and then you just don't think about anything else. You just keep focusing on that and you believe it. You believe that you can achieve it. Talk about it like it's already happened. That's the trick to manifestations. You just speak it into reality and then put in the work and then the universe will align and help you make it happen. It's just funny to see the contrast between how I was doing in previous videos. You could tell I was getting really stressed, even though I didn't want to believe it. I came here with enough money to for a deposit and the first month's rent, but then it was actually really hard to find a place. I spent a few days in my car when I first got here, and then I decided to make get an Airbnb. And that Airbnb was expensive. It was like 680 pounds GBP. So I basically burnt my first month's rent on that. Kind of screwed myself a little bit because I was expecting to move into the Airbnb and, and just work on crystals, but the crystals didn't arrive until the day I was leaving the Airbnb. So none of it really matters anymore because it all worked out. But people are like complaining that I that I'm preaching about how to succeed when the reality is I asked for handouts at my lowest point. It's not something I wanted to do. It's not something I'm proud of. I asked for help with gas money because I had nothing left. I had like a couple hundred in my account, which was not enough to get the deposit or first month's rent. It was a combination of donations and a friend from America that stepped up. She stepped up and offered to lend me the money to get into a place. She lent me about 600 bucks USD. Something like that. And that's all I needed to get myself into a place. So the total cost for getting into the house was 1,250 euros. That was deposit, first month's rent, and then 250 for the agent fee. So yeah, if it wasn't for my American friend, I wouldn't have that money. That money came into my account the day I had to go look at the place. And that's the only reason that I was even able to move in because I had that, that loan, which I've now paid back in full. Uh, it took me two weeks to earn enough money to pay it back. She's a friend, I've, I've known this friend for years. I'm not gonna say her name on here because she doesn't, she doesn't wanna be exposed for, help me out. And if it wasn't for that, I don't know what I would be doing. I, I, I had already accepted the fact that I might have to live in my car for a, a long time because there's no way of making the kind of money in a car that I could make with electricity. So yeah, she really took a leap of faith. She, she knew I was good for it and that I always pay back my debts. Yeah, I've never really spoken about any of this before. I'm, I, I haven't come from money. I know there's a few people out there that really doubt my situations, but I, I can promise you I've come from a poor background. It's not like we ever had money growing up. And everything that I've earned, I've built myself. Like everything, everything I have, I've built myself. Whenever I use, I'm thanking people for support, it's usually emotional support. It's not, I'm not thanking people for handouts. That PayPal push at the end of that video when I was moving out was just like, I didn't know what else to do because I was, I couldn't get into a new place. I couldn't say that in the video, but I didn't have enough money to get into a place. So I was moving back into my car, not knowing whether or not I'd ever move into a place 
at all. The thought never crossed my mind that I would go back to the UK. That was never an option. Because people have said, why don't you just fly back to the UK? First of all, I don't want to abandon my car. It cost me £400 to get here by a car. I could have flown here for £15, but I needed to bring all my stuff and I wanted the car here. I was escaping the UK. It's not like I, I'm on a vacation and I can go back there. That's not what this is. I'm trying to build a better life for myself, somewhere that has sunlight and people aren't incredibly depressed. Like, when you're around depressed people, you become depressed, you absorb it. Especially me, I'm an empath. I, I sponge pe the way people feel around me, unknowingly as well. I always think it's my own problems, but it's not. I'm, I'm just sponging what's around me. So here, you can say hello to people, a lot of people, and people will respond. They'll be like very friendly. Um, you just don't get that in in countries where the sun doesn't come out. People don't understand that we are batteries. We're, we are electrical components. We need power to charge. And the power that we get is from the sun. If we don't get the sunlight, we're not recharging our batteries. We're running on empty all the time and people don't really get it. That's why so many people in the UK and other countries really are so addicted to stimulants like caffeine because they think that they are charging themselves with the caffeine. It's just a drug that's powering your body. When the reality is you need to sun gaze, you need to sunbathe. You need, you need that sunlight on your skin to charge your, your battery. So that's why I'm always preaching that I'm, I'm a sun chaser. Like I'm Jason. Jason. I'm Jay. I need my sun. <laughs> the sunlight in my name. I need, I need this thing. It's like, whenever I'm feeling down, like, what do I need? What is wrong? Look up at the sky. Is the sky visible? Yes. Is the sun out? Yes. Well, then it's something, something emotional, something internal. That's why I'm feeling. But most of the time, it's literally just the sun. When I have sunlight, I feel alive again. Obviously, it goes into a combination of, like, exercise and diet, which is also things that I'm always improving. But sunlight is 90% of what makes people feel good. And you might not believe that, you might come from a cold, dark country and you think, ah, nah, I don't need the sun. I promise you, all the humans need the sun to thrive. You can keep lying to yourself and saying you don't need it because you haven't known a life with sun. But if you spend a year in a hot country or any country that gets sunlight, you'll realize that, oh wow, the, my whole life I haven't been performing the way I'm supposed to. I think I'm the only YouTuber that can rant about the sun for five minutes. <laughs> That's an honest look at my situation. I had enough money, I saved up enough money to move out here, burned the money, made a critical error by relying on a package to arrive on time. What I could have done was stayed in the UK a little bit longer and made some more money. Problem is, I knew Brexit was coming. Brexit started January 1st, so I wanted to get out before Brexit happened because I knew there'd be complications at the border. If I'd have gone a few days earlier, I would have avoided that whole catastrophe at the border. Everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. It, everything happened exactly how it was supposed to happen. I realized that France is probably gonna stop letting people in from the UK because of the new strain. That new strain was thriving in the UK and I figured that they were gonna stop people from coming in from Britain. So I wanted to go during Christmas when there, I knew that there was gonna be a lot of people going at the same time. And it all worked out for me because I was, I was pushed through this funnel of traffic and no one really questioned why I was doing what I was doing. The French border were like, why are you coming here? And I just said, I'm do doing it for work. But the reality was I'm moving here to live. The UK isn't a place where I can survive and thrive. It's been many times I've wanted to kill myself in the UK and that's the reality that a lot of people still live in. A lot of people want to kill themselves in the UK because that's that's the environment that they're surrounded by. They're surrounded by people that are struggling. Um, I don't know anyone in the UK that's thriving right now. They're all struggling and they're not getting their batteries charged. So they're all running on empty. I just don't know how more people haven't killed themselves. Like, as awful as that is to say, but I'm amazed that anyone in the UK is still alive. Like, well done if you live in the UK and you haven't experienced outside the UK life. There's just so much more to this flipping world. And I have a large audience from the UK and I just don't, I don't know what more I can say other than give the outside world a chance and give the sun a chance, trust in the sun. If you do that, I promise you'll feel better whatever you're going through. It doesn't matter what you're going through. I know everyone's got their own individual struggles, but we all need the sunlight. <laughs> what more can I say? We all need the sun. With these videos, I hope to prove that. I don't want to go on these rants often. I just want to show by example of how much better I'm doing here than places that are cold and wet and dark and grey. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I never wear white. So this is all new for me, but uh, I'm usually always wearing black. But this company, ego to soul on Instagram sent me the shirt. And it's wonderful, it's massive. I like double XL shirts, so I'm grateful that they supplied me with one. Go check them out, link in the description. I wanna take some Instagram pictures wearing this because I never wear white, I'm always wearing black all the time. I don't own that many clothes. I'm, I'm seriously a minimalist when it comes to clothes and most things in life. If anyone out there is, has a company that makes dope shirts or dope clothing in general and wants to hit me up, my PO box is also in the description. Like I'll promote anyone that I resonate. So if there's a message out there or some psychedelic companies that wanna hit me up, please do. Okay. I think I'm done ranting. I'm gonna go home now. <laughs>